much. Uh, you may all be seated. His Excellency, Cyril Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa. Her Excellency, Dr. Samia Siluho Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania. Excellencies, the High Commissioners from both countries, Ministers, Deputy Ministers of the Republic of South Africa and the Republic of Tanzania, Business Executives and Captains of Industry representing the two countries, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, it's with great pleasure that I welcome you to this 2023 South Africa Tanzania Business Forum. In particular, I would like to convey a special word of appreciation to Her Excellency Dr. Samia Suluhu Hassan uh, and our host and head of state, His Excellency President Ramaphosa, for gracing this event with their presence. I'd also like to welcome you, the business executives and representatives from Tanzania who have traveled from Dar es Salaam to Pretoria to be with us here today. I want to welcome the South African business delegation who are the drivers of our trade with Tanzania. Yesterday, ministers under the leadership of Minister Panda from South Africa and our colleague from Tanzania met during the Binational Commission and they reviewed the state of play in our relationship. And that was followed today with discussions between the two heads of state and the signing of agreements. Excellencies, we now have with us more than 250 business leaders and representatives from both countries. They've been busy since this morning, unpacking the opportunities that are available in increasing business, commerce, trade, and investment between ourselves. The business forum focused on the overall business environment and on four broad areas, agriculture and agro-processing, on energy and gas, on mining and mineral beneficiation, and on construction and infrastructure development. The presence of the business community here today is an affirmation that South Africa and Tanzania can share more than only the black, green, and gold colors in our national flags. We are almost equal in size of population. With a population of just over 60 million people each. And so this 120 million account the strength to achieve economies of scale and position our two countries to become vital cogs in enhancing the implementation of the SADC Free Trade Agreement and the African Continental Free Trade Agreement for the mutual benefit of our people. We have a relationship infused with history, with solidarity between our people and with friendship. Friendships can deepen through trade and trade can deepen through friendships. I have no doubt that we have many tea drinkers in the audience today. Last year, Tanzania became the third biggest exporter of tea to South Africa, overtaking Sri Lanka. Our biggest suppliers of tea now are Malawi, followed by Zimbabwe, and then Tanzania. I'm told, Excellencies, that was rather mild for the tea drinkers in the audience. I'm told, Excellencies, that you've got to drink three cups of tea a day for good health. The evening cup should also be, always be 
a cup of rooibos tea because it relaxes you and it gets you ready for that peaceful sleep that Tanzanians and South Africans experience at night. But the other two cups of tea should be caffeine-based tea, like the tea that's grown in Tanzania. So if you drink two cups of tea a day, besides your rooibos, then in a year on average, you will be drinking just over 100 cups of Tanzanian tea here in South Africa. We also buy other products from Tanzania. We buy coffee, $2 million worth of coffee, $6 million worth of tea. We buy clothing, we buy plastic products, oil cakes, vegetable seeds, and we won't tell the Minister of Health, but we also buy tobacco. We sell a number of products, such as steel and chemical products that are used by Tanzanian industry, helping to industrialize Tanzania. We sell tanker trailers and mining equipment used in the mining sector in Tanzania. We sell insecticide and fungicide as well as rodenticide, that's the ones used for rats, that are used in Tanzanian agriculture. We sell tires used by motorists and food products used by consumers. Last year was a good year for trade, reaching 8.7 billion rand. That is 33 million rand of trade every working day between our two countries, and that excludes gold. Because a lot of Tanzanian gold, some 12, 13 uh, billion rand of it, comes to South Africa. It's refined at the rand refinery and then sold on bullion markets elsewhere in the world. So we can both uh, buy more. We need, as South Africa, to buy more Tanzanian products. We need Tanzanian consumers to buy more South African products. Who best to tell us how to buy and sell and invest more than the private sectors of those two countries? And so it's my pleasure to call on the representatives of the private sector to come forward, and I'm going to ask you to welcome Mr. Gagan Santosh, the chairman of Kamal Steel, and a member of the Tanzanian Private Sector Foundation. And I'd like him to be accompanied by Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Stavros Nikolai, a senior executive at Aspen Pharmacare and board member of Business Unity South Africa. And I'm going to give them the floor to tell us how they see us expanding the business opportunity between the two countries. May I invite uh, the two business representatives to come forward and I'm going to give Mr. Gagan Santosh the first uh, uh, opportunity and he will then be followed by uh, Dr. Nikolai. Please, the podium is yours. Your Excellency, Cyril Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa. Your Excellency, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania. Excellencies and High Commissioners, Honorable Minister, President of the Board, Republic of South Africa and the United Republic of Tanzania. Senior Government Officials, Heads of Public Institutions, Business Advocate in South Africa and Tanzania respected ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very special day with the two power of the Africa, South Africa and Tanzania. Here is a very special, very, very special day. We are here. I want to say thank you to all DIC and our institutions, the organizers, the DIC. So, Excellency, this is our two countries a very unique day today. We are presenting our success and challenges of the day. I just want to say that our Tanzania is the enormous you know, energy and the growing country. As well as in terms of infrastructure, may be aware about more than 20 billion projects is going on in the SDR and dam project, many road projects that the South Africa also, as I feel personally, there's a lot of challenges, but the South Africa can play 